I'm a 3D artist, and a few days ago, I met Dude Perfect and gave them a custom 50 million play button. It did not go as planned, but their reaction was completely worth it. Oh, that is so sick! May 3rd, 2022. Dude Perfect calls me out in front of 11 million people, inviting me to bring them a custom play button. Thankfully, the play button is completely finished. I mean, it only took me nine months. But before I can give them this play button, I have to make a box to put it in. YouTube has always done that, I have always done that, so I quickly designed this simple box. Simple in this case meaning significantly not simple, actually. And I ordered a bunch of plastic to build it out of. But not just any plastic, boat plastic. It's called Starboard and it looks and feels amazing. I ordered like 47 Starboards and got to work. For those of you who are new to the channel, I got ejected out of my workspace because my lease ended and I forgot that can happen. And I literally had to get a new house just to finish the play button. But while we were packing and leaving, we managed to sneak in a good amount of progress on the box before we actually left. But hurrying like this came with its own set of problems. It broke into several pieces. But that's just a minor inconvenience. After all, we've got plenty of time. We have three days and 13 hours until we board our plane. How did this happen? Well, you know that funny bird app where humor goes to die? Well, I posted a little thing on there saying, hey, dude, perfect, I made you this award. So then I asked my fans to vouch for me, but what I didn't expect was 15 minutes later, Dude Perfect called me out to see if I'd actually go to Texas just to bring it to them. They were right. There were three days left to fix this completely broken box, so Tristan and I got to work. We couldn't cut out new lid pieces, so we decided to use the solution to all problems, Bondo. If they can use it to fix a car, we can use it to fix our box. It was definitely a process, considering we haven't the slightest idea of what we're doing. But after a long day of mixing and sanding, all the pieces were stuck together, and as a bonus, it was perfectly smooth as well. But next comes the hard part painting. The box is supposed to be white with a green play button on the top. Before we can paint the main color, we first have to spray a layer of primer. This maximizes the paint adhesion and makes sure the surface is smooth. I say that like I know what I'm talking about, which is ironic considering what happened next. While the primer is drying, I have to figure out what to do about this play button. We've got the two lid pieces just fine, but we haven't even thought about this piece. Now normally I would just cut this out on my big mommy Tormach machine, but that's in storage, so instead I decided to learn the entire process of 3D printing. What am I even doing? What even is this script? I don't know, I'm just a guy. Getting the 3D printing setup was pretty nerve wracking considering I have two days to get to Texas, which is 1600 miles away. But after a very small number of failed experiments, I finally managed to print a gloriously perfect piece. After washing the play button in a literal tub of 99% pure alcohol, which shouldn't spontaneously explode, we sprayed another coat of primer, black because we ran out of the gray one, and got ready for the final step, painting the box white. Hey, remember that thing I said about n not knowing what I was doing? It turns out that while primer usually works on everything, there's one thing it doesn't work on that well, which happens to be the exact thing we made it out of. And as soon as we sprayed the color on, it started peeling and cracking and looking absolutely terrible. But unfortunately, we were out of time. There was no possible way we were gonna make it, so we came up with a compromise. Gray and black didn't actually look that bad even if it wasn't the original color scheme. So for the sake of the video, we got rid of all the paint, put the primer back on by itself, and got ready to leave. Dude Perfect lives in Texas, which is 1,600 miles away. Thankfully, there should be no problems at all with trying to bring a giant metal object through airport security, and we aren't going to be forced to drive across the entire country in less than two days, <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. We threw everything in the back and took off for Texas. To say it was a long drive would be a disservice to the 16 hours of driving I did per day. We went through Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and finally, Texas, the motherland. My mother's from Texas, that's why I said that. As soon as we crossed the border, we were met with advertisements for giant food, desert, nothing else at all but desert. Things finally seemed to be working out. We made it to the motherland, Dude Perfect was finally within our reach, and the play button made it there in one piece. At least that's what we thought, until we opened the trunk. While we were driving, some of the screws broke off of the box, causing irreparable damage. And to make matters worse, our meeting with Dude Perfect was less than 12 hours away. We were heartbroken. When I can't rely on Starboard, when I can't rely on Bondo, at this point, there's only one thing I can rely on. And that's Dragon City, baby! Woo! Bet you didn't see that coming. Dragon City is a free mobile game that's available on all platforms. 
feed and train your dragons like the pet you've always wanted, except you can't because your landlord has a no pets clause in the lease and also exotic cats are illegal in the state of Idaho to own as pets. Grow and tailor your city to new heights as you breed, battle, collect, and evolve thousands of dragons. If that wasn't enough, they did that thing where they get YouTubers to be part of the game. Some of my favorite YouTubers in here, we got Darman, Dream, and the list just goes on and on. Do you have what it takes to catch them all? I'll 1,694 of them? Now you may be saying to yourself, I don't know, Daniel, I'm not convinced. And to that I say, they have the Ronaldo Dragon. How are you not playing this game right now? Download the game now by clicking the link in the description or scan the QR code and get a free starter pack of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the Flame Knight Dragon. But that's enough of that. It's time to fix this play button. Thankfully, the broken box didn't cause any major damage to the play button itself, but we had to find a solution for the box quick as we only had an hour left. So we did the American thing and went to Walmart, also known as the SCP Foundation, to find ourselves a solution. We didn't want to bring Dude Perfect their play button in what is essentially a glorified duffel bag, but we didn't really have much of a choice, did we? So we loaded up the play button for the final time and made our way to Dude Perfect headquarters. The past nine months had led up to this very moment. It was time to present Dude Perfect with their 50 million playbook. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Arrived! Texas is really hot and I was really tired and I'm just now realizing I wore a swimsuit to meet Dude Perfect. How many people do you think have done that? Yeah, they're finishing a photo shoot, maybe, what do you think, 15-ish? After meeting the guards, we had to wait a little bit, so they decided to give us an exclusive tour. There's Joe from Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. 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 And we couldn't help but give them a sneak peek of the play button. Dang, that's incredible. I think it looks better than the Beast one that and with that, we've made ourselves at home. This dude very play one took a long time. Yeah, to I watched the video, that was insane. I kept feeling bad because we had to keep delaying it, but we had a COVID scare and then we had we got kicked out of our workspace. After I was done trauma dumping to Dude Perfect's BTS crew, we finally started the tour. Printer. Next they showed us the upstairs, which was probably the coolest part. Yeah, there's really no excuse not to work out, but I still don't a lot of the time. <laughs> oh, you do this on. and use and abuse that thing. Still. Still sucks, but... Overtime set? Well, but still oh, wow. first overtime in four or five months. It's been there for us. May yeah, I man. sit in the overtime chair? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I feel powerful right now. Now that we had invaded their video set, it was finally time to meet Dude Perfect, and I was getting nervous. Ready to say hello? Hey guys, what's good guys? Garrett, nice to meet you, bud. Kobe. Tristan? Hi, Kobe. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Corey, my brother, is uh, getting put in a fat suit today. I'll basically meet you, y'all come in and then we'll do it right here and you guys can- It turns out they were gonna put this in their next video, so we planned out the shot and got ready to show it to them. And rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, very special presentation today. I'd like to introduce you to two of my new friends, Tristan and Daniel, drove here all the way from Idaho, which is far. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's a far drive. How long was that? Uh, 22 hours. Oh man, that's even farther than I thought it was. These guys have made Dude Perfect our very own $50 million play button. $1,250 million. $50 million subscriber play button. These guys have spent, how long? What did you say, nine months nine making months, it? Nine months. Oh All right, y'all, let me take a peek here. We're not gonna show the cameras. At the end of the day, did it take us way too long? Yes. But was it worth it? I don't know, you tell me. All that matters is that we lived up to our word, and Dude Perfect finally got their play button. They deserved it after all. Follow me if you want to see what I make next. But for now, I'm free.
Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring today's video. Go download the game now to claim your special rewards.